hello everyone this is the from cg trip um today i'm just going to be creating a glass a water glass material using maya 2018 using arnold i made a tutorial in 2016 using mentory and it's about time i update that tutorial um someone actually asked me how to do it i did explain in the comments but it's i had actually promised to post the video but i didn't so it's about time i actually did so i'm just gonna do everything from scratch I, I always feel like it's better to do it that way that way you can actually learn something as we go along so for the materials i'm just gonna create um some random shapes i'm just gonna create a sphere um sphere and a cylinder I'm not really gonna explain about you know modeling stuff i'm just i think the main focus here is actually creating the glass material you probably already have the model you want to make a glass so i'm not gonna explain too much about that all right uh, i'm just gonna make weird shapes uh, i think that like this one will be good to just it would be i think it would be good to just see how the glass looks uh, okay cool that's fine I'm just gonna create a plane like that cool this is really all i need um okay so now i'm just gonna bring out my arnold render view right here let me just hit play just want to see the size Okay, that's too big. Let me just stop that and change the resolution. Um, okay, three twenty. Three twenty resolution. All right, I think that's okay. We'll be able to see. <clears throat> so right now, obviously, it's black because there are no lights. So you go to Arnold. Um lights sky dome light and there you are and then the next thing we want to add an hdmi an hdr hdrmi <laughs> i think it's hdmri okay i don't know anymore i think let me correct myself when i open the image um you click your sky dome and then under sky dome light attributes you select color the texture option then you're just gonna select file and then image name now this these images you can just download them from google or you can um you can actually make your own if you can um oh i actually thought the name was there it's hd it's hdrmi okay you know what let me just okay <laughs> i don't know why i was saying mri hdrmi so you have to search for HDRI images for your sky dome light. Okay. So the one I'm going to use is this one, this one right here. So I'm just going to open this and then as you can see, it's going to update and then, all right. I do apologize if my, if my PC is making a lot of noise. When it starts rendering the fans just go crazy um okay so the next thing is we're just gonna select these materials right we're gonna right click that uh assign new material under arnold shader we select ai standard surface okay now the next thing is um on the base uh, like, on the, like on the base the glass that doesn't have weight so we're just gonna put that to zero uh i mean you can pretty much leave everything the same specular i mean class is specular so that's fine uh, and then on, on transmission this is the most important part uh, on the weight we're just gonna put one um i mean you can see the transition but if you put one that's the weight um it's gonna see that it's already looking like a glass material i mean at this point you're pretty much done 
but obviously hmm. let me see what like i feel like i'm missing something uh maybe oh yeah i meant to add a material to to the <laughs> to the plane oh you can see like the you can't even see the class in your viewport you can only see the specular so it's a good idea to always on shading shading you select wireframe on shaded so that you can see your stuff all the time it won't appear on your render so that's fine actually let me before i actually maybe okay be, before I, I i add the materials let me just make a glass like an actual water glass just to make it look similar to the one i did in 2016 okay oh let me pause this render it's making my system slow uh, i'm just gonna hit extrude just gonna extrude that press g to repeat something like that just gonna go down yep just gonna add another one on the outside like that um, and then we're just gonna raise this up a little bit yep smooth that out and see it render yep so I just wanted to make it look like a water glass. Oh yeah, that that's why. So you see this black thing here. Uh, this. Let me make this render a bit bigger because I feel like it's getting a bit hard to see some of the details. Let's make it six forty. Okay. I just want to make sure that you can see. So, um, you can see that blacks, that black artifact over there. Uh, you can easily fix that when you go to, when you select your glass, you can, okay, under P, sh shape one, cylinder shape one, under Arnold, yes, you deselect opaque and it, it's gonna act normal. It's gonna, it's just gonna be transparent. Yeah, you can, like you have to do it to, like you have to do it for all the models that you have. Yeah. But I'm, I'm gonna do it for that one though. So I think I think this is pretty much it. Um, oh yeah, I'm, I was supposed to add the material to the plane because glass always looks good when you add um, stuff around it, like the HD, the HDRI really helps you know with the reflections because you can see glass through the reflections of the environment but right now i just want to add a material to this plane uh assign new material let's go to file if i can find it <laughs> okay oh okay AI standard surface. I don't know why I was so confused. Okay, AI standard surface and um, under base color, we select the checkered box and then we select file. Uh, and then on on the folder, when to select the folder, you have to select the. I downloaded this marble. I think it's gonna be good. then just put that marble right there it's i mean it looks cool i don't know if there's a big difference if i use the jpeg i don't know why it comes in two types i don't know you can tell me in the comments if you know okay so pretty much i think i think that's all i mean oh i keep on forgetting in uh transmission if you go to transmission um let me go to the AI standard surface. Under transmission, like on color, for example, you can actually change the color of the glass. That's the best way to change the color. If you select red like this, maybe like that. You know, that's that's how you change the color of the glass. 
so just you know FYI um, yeah I think that's it if you've got maybe some other questions you can just post them in the comments but mainly I just wanted to address the issue with my old tutorial for Maya 2016 it was old and most people now are using Arnold because now I think from Maya 2017 onwards Maya comes with Arnold so this will be the new way to create your water class in Arnold all right thank you guys for watching and I'll see you on the next one